Hi, I'm Rowan, and this is Tannen. And today we will we will be making a wonderful treat. We are making a traditional Swiss bread called Zop. We entered in this fun contest because we love to cook together, and we've been cooking together for years. I we chose this because I have a lot of Swiss background. The ingredients we use are yeast, milk, butter, egg, egg yolks, flour, salt, and some sugar. Well, let's get started. Hope, Hope you, you enjoy. enjoy. So we're going to be starting by putting the yeast into the bowl. It's quick rice yeast, so we add this, and then we are going to warm up our one and one third cup of milk. Stop the video. Perfect. And now we are going to put the yeast in and, and the milk, the warmed milk. We all whisk it together. Then we whisk two tablespoons of butter and two egg yolks. Just whisk it together. Perfect. Now we are going to add a half teaspoon of salt, or just, just a pinch of salt, into the mixture. And then we are going to add a one about one quarter cup of sugar, and today we used berry sugar instead of just normal granulated sugar. We just thought it would give it an extra pop of taste. So we'll see how that turns out. And then, again, whisk it all together. Now, we have to put in the flour. The amount of flour that you put in to your zop can be based on the room temperature of your house, cause, but for normal, it's about usually three cups. Okay, now we're going to be doing the kneading. Now we have to split the dough into three bits, so it's we're able to break. We are making them really long and spreading them out. So it'll just take a minute to get that finished, and then comes the braiding. Here we go. So we cross it over here, cross it over once more, and then attach all three ends. It has finished rising, and now it is ready to cook for 15 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Bon appetit!